Let's take a look at the adorable action in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. I'll be collecting orbs, unlocking costumes, and saving Craft World all by myself. Keep on meowing it out, stay safe, and have an amazing day. The sack is back with more uh, platforming goodness here on the PlayStation 5. It's a big old adventure with a watery predicament around here in this episode of, oh, here, I have this. That's cool. I got kind of like Donkey Kong-ish kind of vibes from this, you know? You know what? Oh, the water level rises and falls. I understand what the point is now. Interesting. All righty. Let me get all these, because why not? Oh, these things actually... Oh, wait, what? Hold on, wait. So that, like, didn't hurt me when I ran into it, but, like... Okay, that's weird. Uh, my name is Brian Saviano. Brick, so, Brian, hello. I hope this day treats you... Oh, what a snipe. That was... That was good. Hopefully this day is treating you as best as the circumstances of the world will allow you to, you know, because it is the year 2020 where time doesn't matter. It's basically Christmas already for all you uh, keeping track at home. It's pretty much what it, uh, what it comes down to here, you know? I'll grab that even though it's not really something I'm ever gonna use, but we know this by now. So that's totally fine. So I'm actually going to be decorating this office uh, in a little while for the, uh, the, the Christmas season. Because, again, Christmas is what I celebrate as uh, the holiday. Okay, really? As the holiday of, of choice. So there will be a giant tree back over here. And I'm actually having people, whoever wants to send things in, to a, uh, a, a post office box that I have. So... There's hopefully going to be a lot of ornaments made by people that are probably just like you in the background here. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So perler beads are these things that you can buy that are... Okay, yep, there we go. Uh, basically, am I going to... Yep, I'm going to totally lose it here. Really? Really? There's no way to like... Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's why. Oh. Oh, yep. Okay, there it is. Okay. I thought I was doing something wrong, and it turns out I was, but in, like, a good way, I guess. All right. So, yeah, perler beads are these things that you get at, like, a craft store. They are available for for purchase as, like, a fun craft thing you do. Uh, basically, it involves you putting a bunch of beads together and then cooking them or using a iron to iron them all together. And they can make, like, an ornament or just something like that in general. Uh, and that is the, the theme of the tree this year. Whereas in previous years, it's been either a color or just ornaments that people have sent in in general. But I'm limiting it to perler beads so that way people don't actually buy me physical ornaments. Uh, that is not something that I want to have because some people buy ornaments that are very expensive and some people do not. So instead of, like, you know having some people spend a lot of money on ornaments, which is never what I want or ask for. I only ask that it's a, you know, a handmade ornament or something. Um, I figure just doing this would be a lot easier, you know? So that's going to be basically the theme for this year. And I really thought I had a good grasp on that right there, but it seems like I guess I do. Okay, wait. There's this. Anything here? Anything here? There's a whole lot of nothing. All right. I definitely absolutely missed a orb somewhere around here, but it's just going to ha kind of have to be that way, you know? Be how it is, be how it do. So I should actually make a, a perler bead thing myself. If I were any good at, like, doing what I do, I probably should, right? Just so I'm not, like, contradicting myself in a way, I guess. Where it's like, oh, I want y'all to do this for me, but I'm not going to do this myself, you know? I should probably do something like that at some point. I don't know what I would make a perler bead uh, thing of, but I'm sure I could uh, figure out something here. Wow, I can't believe I made that one. That's cool. Keep on going higher. Nice. Okay. Grab this. So that doesn't actually get me anything. It's just for the sake of having it be a thing there. Okay. There we go. I'll take that life. That's helpful. And I'll take whatever's over here too. Nice. Oh, it's the secret area. Okay. I can finally get myself uh, an orb. 
I don't know if I have any right now, but... Oh, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. Okay. Grab all this. Oh, they're like little... The beads that I grabbed. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Nice. Is that my first one? No way. It is my second one. Okay. If I walk out of every level with three, I think that's a good number to, like, be happy with overall, you know? Uh, do I need to go over there? I don't think I do. Now, oh, get you out of here. Yep, that's for certain. Oh, I can't believe I made that one, too. That's pretty incredible there. Very nice. Oh, I'm definitely missing one right over here. I am absolutely going to get it, though. Because if there's one thing I don't want to do, I don't want to necessarily... Oh, right over here. Yep. Oh, dang it. Okay. I don't want to have to go back to any levels and get any of these uh, orb things if I don't have to, you know? Not because I mind, but, you know, just for the sake of wanting to play more levels in a timely manner here. But if you have four people, you're definitely going to get this done a lot quicker, you know? Get it done in a more, uh, more covered way. But, yeah. So, I've actually seen uh, people that have made Perler Bead ornaments already. And some people have made some pretty incredible ornaments. So, uh, lots of... Okay. Lots of, like, Mario-related ornaments. And I guess they make, like, a Super Mario Brothers 3 pack of, like, Perler Bead patterns and whatnot. Which I didn't even know about. Until I saw somebody posting about it on social media. And I'm like, oh, that's a thing. I should probably recommend people do that, you know? But it turns out people have already found out about it, and it's a whole big thing anyway. So it all works out anyways. And that is by far the best method for getting those things is is doing that. Like, using the, the R1 thing to, to throw everything. That worked out. And I really didn't get the final one. That's weird. Okay. Here we go. It's a jump. Oh, I jumped up this time. So then it looks like I'm looking down. That's great. So after this, I'll probably head out. I should get something to eat. I still didn't do that from last time. That goes to show you just how wonky my eating schedule is. Like, it's 8 o'clock right now. It's not 1 in the morning. So that's good. I'm not recording super late at night. Like I normally do. Because it just happens to end up being that way. And the cube, I guess, disappears for some reason. The cube's just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with you. I'm done. I'm good for today. I'm going to go home, see my family, not deal with Sackboy, not on the agenda. This monkey looks terrifying. Monkey looks absolutely terrifying. Um, what? What do I do? That's a nosedive? That's a thing? Why does it tell me from that far away? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Okay. The more you know. Oh, so sections like this. Ah. Wait, hold on. Ah, there we go. So that just gets me more stuff? That's interesting. Okay. So that's the whole play mechanic for this level. Alrighty. Alrighty. I like the, the difference in perspectives, too, with this game. Like, you're going top-down, you're going side-scroller, you're doing a whole bunch of different techniques for things. That's pretty cool. There's this one. Get up, get up, get up. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, avoiding these cone-looking things is a part of the, the whole stipulation here. It's closed? I don't think so, fam. No. Your business hours have not been adjusted for everything going on here, and I almost took the L right there, but I didn't. I'm good. Don't you move from me, Mr. Froggy. And I haven't... Wait, hold on. What is this? Into here? Anything here? Really? Really? That has nothing in it. Really? Okay. That seems weird, especially because it's glowing. Usually anything that glows is, like, fair game, but... Okay. I'll bypass all this. There we go. Beautiful. And... Ooh, the wall. Let's get that working. Nice. Don't you... Uh, not even a little bit. Grab me with the fireball. Yep. Fireball. Hold on. Hold on, wait, is that where... Yeah, that's where I need to go. Give me my first orb. I need 50, so I need, like, five more, I think. No. There it is. Well, that's not quite it. Okay, so it's right. And then center? No. Okay, right. Far left? Probably. Far left. 
Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, so that one was number... Oh, there's only three in this level. Oh, that's problematic. Okay. Uh, my friends are actually um, building a computer right now. Just to, like, talk about something, I guess, right? As, like, no! Uh, nobody else has anything going on. But my friend Matt is actually uh, building a computer. I've had him on for, like, Super Smash Bros. in the past. So if you've seen any of the videos that I've done with him... Uh, you will be familiar with who Matt is. I can't believe I'm going this fast through this entire thing. That's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, so he's building a PC so that way he can do some stuff for himself. And I guess I just didn't find that last orb. Okay. So that was a pretty unsuccessful run, not going to lie to you. That could have been a lot better. Especially considering I didn't get that much for, you know, gold either. So, I don't know. That was terrifying. Just like that image right there so yeah they're building a computer so he wants to play video games on it i am not much of a pc gamer even though i do have a fancy schmancy pc very ready to play whatever the newest game that comes out is whether it's uh you know multi-platform or not uh, and it looks like for this one i'm gonna have to get at least four of them so i'm kind of running on steam here and no, I'm not talking about the gaming platform. I mean, literally trying to get the matter of fact or get four of them, which hopefully won't be too out of place here. And get ready for that boss battle with Vex, because why not? But I am kind of rushing through these levels. Well, no, not rushing. I'm just like skillfully going through, you know? There's a difference, you know? There's this. And I'm also trying to like figure out what the mechanics of each type of level are you know is this something i should care about no okay so defeating each of these guys doesn't actually do anything so i'm not gonna bother doing that it's, oh whoa, whoa 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 what happened there i like jumped a bit too late and dove forward too late like a combination of column a column b situation a little weird but okay just trying to roll myself on through without dealing with anything. Jump, jump. Okay, just a couple of jumping. Not, I don't need to do every single little thing here. Yep, okay. There's that. Ooh, the nosedive up on here. Okay. How do I... Oh, down here. Okay. No! Oh, really? Wait, did I do it? Oh, I did it. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay. Where's the entrance? The entrance is... You see the little thing? Oh, it's right here. I'm not very observant. I'm not going to say dummy. There was something in that potted plant. R like, right? You saw the, the, the glowing blue? Obviously, there was something there. Because it was glowing blue. I, I knew that. But then the game was like, no, actually. There wasn't anything, even though I clearly head-dived right into it. No issue whatsoever. So, I don't know. That was weird. It, it, there actually might be a, a very, very high possibility I'll have to go to another level here. We'll see. Anything in here? Just a life. That's cool. What about over here? Nothing? All right. Yeah, I feel betrayed by that potted plant. Come on now. I could have absolutely gone to that no problem. But, oh well. It's fine. It's just going to have to be that way. I'm going to keep on moving. Okay, so there is something down here. Oh, there's a ball. I didn't even realize the ball was right there, but I got it. That's good. And so, yep, I'll just head on right through here. Nice. Two more. That's it. I see the secret entrance over here this time. I'm not so uh, ignorant, I guess, is the right word. Ooh, there's a sword? What does a sword do? What is this? Oh, it probably does more radius damage. Oh, it allows me to fly. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, but I can discard it too. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Okay. I definitely do not want to discard this. So it's probably something that's a bit uh, better for damage too, I would think. Ooh, down here. I need this one. That's for sure. Pinata party time. Nope. It's just a little bit of flying. Oh, it's a multiple one. Okay. Two, three. Ooh, I can just go over and do it that way. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I could have totally floated 
All the way through to that section. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I just need one more. Wow. Me having that parasol absolutely made that a thousand times easier. If I could just keep this for every level, I feel like it would be, like, that much easier for... Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is beautiful. I can just, like, <laughs> bypass every aspect of every level, it seems like. This is incredibly, incredibly easy. Okay. Almost a little bit too easy. I don't know how this manages to be this easy, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, wait, I thought I saw something over here. Is that a thing? Am I hallucinating? Yep, I am. All right. See, I can't just assume I know where everything is. I got to be a bit more vigilant about what comes next, you know? Nope. There you go. All right. Grab this. There must be one. I really couldn't grab that? All right. There's got to be one more. Well, there is definitely one more. It's just a matter of where. Oh, that could be bad. Get this guy out of here. All right. I'm on the lookout here. I don't see anything, which is kind of an issue. Is that it? That might be it. Oh, uh, Mr. Monkey, do you have anything for me? Nope, you have nothing for me. I'm missing one. I need literally one. I don't know how I didn't find that last one. But I went through each of those levels like super duper uber quickly here. So I guess I'll find one more and um, reconvene at the bridge of destiny. Unless there's one more level, right? I got three. Yeah, anytime I need to get like five, I always get three. Because that's just how it ends up being. All right, yeah, I need one more. Cool. Let me go back and get one and then I'll be on my way. Plant, don't betray me. Don't. Why? This is totally a thing. It's 100% a thing. How do I get to there? Is that it? What is this? What is this? Yeah, there's that. Is it a paintbrush? Is it this? Does that have anything to do with it? No? So that's 50. Get rid of the gooey gooey. I don't need that gooey gooey there. Oh, and there's the uh, the bridge thing. To defeating Vex. In whatever this level's name is, because I went too fast. It's the centipedal force. Or sendipedal. Right? It's kind of a play on that there. It's gonna involve this, no matter what. So that's cool. So this could either go really smoothly or really incredibly horribly. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm assuming it's gonna be just fine as I enter the boss. Like, the boss entrance looks really extravagant. Okay. Oh, hi. All the bananas too? Oh, here he comes. Craft world's biggest spoil sport. Why are you trying to ruin everyone's fun? Just look how much fun they're having, working together for a new glorious future. And you want to take that away from your friends? Shame on you. So I'll just leave you with another taste of the uproar and how it bends all creatures to my will. <laughs> Oh, that's cool looking. Vexed Mama Peed. Yeah, you look cool. Terrifying, but cool. Here we go. Oh, you. Wonder if this will do anything. Oh, you're gonna follow me, aren't you? No. Oh. Okay, so I actually have to avoid you this time. Alrighty. Oh, because these things spawn in. Right. That makes sense. And there is a way for you to aim it, so that's... What on, how on earth am I supposed to dodge you? How is that supposed to work? You know? It's just like a thing. It just has to happen, you know? Okay, so I can jump over that. And it's fine. I wonder if I just keep walking. You know? There's that, right? Did that do any damage? Oh, it does. Wait. There we go. Nice. Okay, so each section gets popped a little bit. So it's kind of like in, um... What is it? In, like, Mario Galaxy, where there's, like, different sections you can pop. Or no, that was, like, the Wiggler in uh, Sunshine. Yes. 
like each of the various sections you gotta just toss it and hope that it you know bounces off in a good amount of time there yep okay oh there's all different sections okay so you have to really get it exactly okay and then on phase three he's like no I'm gonna chomp you and then I'm gonna re-engage my balloon really I feel like there isn't like there should be a, a like a, a system so I could tell how many lives I have left with, without losing it like okay so I'm actually blinking red okay so that's the reason okay so before I wasn't I just wasn't like active okay I wasn't actively gauging what I needed to do. And I'm clearly not doing too hot right now. So that's bad. And that nearly just tossed me like into a section where I was gonna uh, be at fault here. So that's not good. Uh, and I cannot jump over the eyes it seems like. There's definitely gonna be even more of this that like falls short. So that's not gonna be good. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Very bad, yep, there's that. Okay, thank you for the life, I appreciate it. We're gonna go out right there, okay? Yep. Really? Right here, right in the middle. No, not right in the middle. Okay. You keep on creeping. You're gonna get the creeped. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go get something to eat after this. Just so, like you know, you get hangry, right? Like I'm not hangry right now, but you know, you just kind of feel like you could potentially be hangry. That's it's like that sort of a deal. Really, get up. Sack boy. He takes so long to like get back up into the fight for being the, the true sack hero, right? Just not. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely gonna get something. Just so you can re-energize, you know? It's always good. You don't realize how much like not like eating at your dinner time could like truly mess you up, but it totally can, right? It's absolutely a thing. And if I could just get this. Yep, wait. Really? No, I totally, I hit those little sections. There's no way. I absolutely hit those sections. That is a farce. And I have one hit left. Please, give me something. Give me the sweet release of whatever this is. Yep. Is there anything else I can do? There's, no, really? Oh, wait. I just got the one, right? Okay, I gained the life as soon as I died. Literally as soon as I died. That was perfect. Okay. So, there's definitely a little bit of a delay when pressing this. So it's like, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit off. That's what I'm noticing. There we go. Okay. Now factoring in the delay. Like, I, I was hitting it as soon as I saw it, but clearly did not matter all that much um now that's gonna get out of here all right that's fine but there's not much i can do about that you know um yeah your issue being uh gonna release no oh wow i got the got the dodge on that one that was gonna be a a rough one right there oh yep there it is. Now I have zero. Great. And now there's this really, like, like that sound of the ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's all coming out of the controller here. It's great. There's that. Okay. There's this. Okay. There's that. Okay. One more time. Yep. Oh, I thought I got it that the second time. Really? So close. There's that one more time. Where are you going to end up? Really? Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. You know why? Because I got one life left. And I have nothing to really fend off against this guy with. And he's going to do this thing again. Where he pops up and he does the thing. Yep. What is this? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Nice. I thought he was going to come up and do like the, the, the circular thing again. But no. Cool. All right. Nice, not bad. That could have been bad, but it wasn't. There you go. Oh, jellyfish. Told you I'd be keeping an eye on you. And I have to say, I was right. You got tons of potential. Even Vex can see that. So, where do you think he's haunting now? Ah, the kingdom of Kramlantis, deep beneath the waves. 
Don't let me stop you. Now, where are those monkeys? I could really go for a banana right now. So she's the one who is finding out where Sackboy is going next to report it to Vex. Because every time you beat a boss, she is conveniently right there. There is no other way that that is a thing. So she's probably the ringmaster. Vex is the one who's actually trying to get everything, right? But she's the one who's reporting to him. There's no way. So just so you just just putting that out there. So if she is a bad person, now you know, okay? So the colossal canopy is complete. And now I can go up in my favorite rocket ship. Again, zooming so high through the sky with another picture to complete the portrait. It's really amazing, isn't it? Isn't it just the most <clears throat> fantastic thing you've seen? I don't know why I just jumped right there, but okay. So the next area is the Kingdom of Crablantis where we kind of saw a preview back over toward this way, but that's fine. So I got just about as many orbs as uh, last time, a little bit less there actually, but you know, hey, Crablantis is gonna be next here on Sackboy A Big Adventure. My name's been Brian Saviano, Brix O'Brien. I'll see you again next time for more Sackboy action very soon. Bye.